settings that they weren't able to see the last three years in Kansas? Uh, different stuff. Um, I love my time at Kansas. I love what I was able to do there. But more so of a mid-post game, being able to play in the mid-post more, being able to uh, play to my athletic ability a little more, and just do different stuff. We we saw you make a significant improvement as a shooter as your career moved on. Um, how were you able to accomplish that? Reps, that's the biggest thing. Um, it's getting more consistent. Uh, I feel like my freshman year, I brought the ball a little over my head. Uh, I wanted my release point to get a little lower in front of my face. And once I got the hang of it, just getting reps up, just getting a lot of shots up is the biggest thing. How do you compare your shooting um, with your feet set compared to off the dribble? I feel like I didn't shoot the ball off the dribble as much as I was capable of at Kansas. I feel like more so it's not really our offense. Our offense in Kansas was dribble drive, catch and shoot. I feel like I shoot the ball off the dribble about just as I could shoot the ball off the catch. I just never really did it. Do you see yourself playing more pick and roll at the next level, or do you see yourself having more of like a specific role, um, you know, making spot shots, moving the moving the ball, being a transition guy? Oh, uh, I think I could do. I think I could do all of those. I feel like going into Kens, I was more of a pick and roll type of guy, more of a ball handler. And um, we had two point guards this year, so it wasn't really necessary for me to do that. It was more so me catching and going, me catching more so being a scorer. But I feel like I can facilitate out of the pick and roll or set up opportunities for teammates. What do you see your role being defensively? Obviously, you've got you've got a great frame, you've got really long arms, you've got quick feet. How many? What positions do you see yourself guarding, and what kind of role do you see yourself playing on that end? Just a workhorse on that level, you know. Just a workhorse on that. On that side of things, just being able to get after loose balls. I feel like Kansas bred me for that, getting after loose balls, being an energy guy on the defensive end, and being able to guard um, the two, the one, two, three positions, and if need be, fours at times. So it's just being able to get quicker to guard the ones and be stronger to guard the fours. How important is it for you to get drafted really high? It doesn't, it's not too big of a deal for me. You know, me personally, I'm just gonna take the opportunity, whatever opportunity I'm given, I'm gonna roll with it. So. As, a, as an older guy now, you know, not really older, I'm only 21, but, you know, I, I just want a foot in the door because I know what I can do, I know what I'm capable of. How would you rate yourself in terms of how close you are to reaching your full potential on a scale of like zero to 100? 40, 30. So you still have a lot of room to grow. Definitely. Um, where is that growth going to come from? I feel like uh, becoming an uh, even better shooter, becoming a better ball handler and being able to play multiple positions on the court. I feel like I can go 2-3 now, but I feel like with just improved ball handling a little more, I can be played the one at times as well. How important is a setting like this for you where you know, you're gonna have 10, 15, maybe 20 GMs um, in, in, a, in a building watching you? I mean, people saw you a lot already. They, they know what you can do, but is there more that they can see and that they can learn about you? Yeah, there's more. You know, I always got more in the tank and I always got more to give and I always, got more room to grow. So I feel like there's, there's different stuff I can show. And it's more so just playing, playing my game and just having fun is the biggest thing with me right now. I just know everything else will take care of itself. Great stuff, man. Appreciate it.